If you're just starting bartending, this is literally everything you need to know about martinis. What's up you guys? It's your girl, Fly Girl Nina, and welcome back to Fly Girl Bartending. Now, believe it or not, martinis are high to make. So this video is dedicated to understanding the complexity of what martinis can and can't be. And then I'll be making a second video all about the technique on how to make several different versions of a martini. Here are a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, a cocktail purist will tell you just because cocktails like an espresso martini, a lemon drop martini, an apple martini, a Cosmo, and so on and so forth are served in martini glasses, it doesn't mean technically that they are martinis. They are simply just cocktails that are served in a martini glass, which isn't a bad thing at all, they're just not traditionally martinis. And second, whenever you serve a martini, make sure that it's in a nice chilled glass. Because this cocktail is not served with ice, we still want it to be as cold and crisp as possible. Now, if you have the luxury of working in a bar where they have fridges dedicated to store your glassware, then you are lucky, my friend. But for the rest of us, here is a simple trick on how to get your martini glasses cold before you serve the cocktail. So before you start building the cocktail, grab a martini glass, and then you wanna fill it with ice and water, and then set it off to the side as you're building your cocktail so that the glass becomes nice and frosted. And then once you're done building the cocktail, then you can dump the ice water out of the martini glass and then just strain the cocktail in the glass and it should be nice and chilled. There are five questions you should ask every time you take an order for a martini. As silly and tedious as it sounds, everything about martinis depends on the preference of the customer. Some people are really particular with how they want their martinis made, whether they know it initially upon ordering or not. <laughs> the first question you should ask is vodka or gin? Both vodka and gin are the popular spirits to use in martinis. Gin is the traditional spirit used in a martini and vodka is the most popular spirit worldwide. So the base spirit really just depends on what the customer prefers. Question number two is how dry do they want their martinis? First of all, what is dry vermouth? So in a very quick summary, dry vermouth is basically a white wine that's infused with herbs and spices and mixed with a neutral spirit to give it a longer shelf life. When it comes to how dry a customer wants their martini, just remember that it's the opposite. So if the customer wants their martini more dry, that means that they want less dry vermouth. And if they want it more wet, that means they want more dry vermouth. Sometimes people don't even want vermouth in their martinis. I personally think that this preference usually comes from people who, one, never had a classic martini before, or have had bad experiences with vermouth in their martinis in the past. And usually if people don't like the taste of vermouth, most of the time it's probably because the vermouth isn't stored properly beforehand. Because otherwise, unless it's like a dirty martini, um, if you don't have vermouth in your martini, then you're basically just drinking like watered down vodka or gin. Do they want their martini dirty? So what makes a martini dirty? Dirty is the term that we use for the addition of olive juice. You can also get people that are asking for slightly dirty martinis, which means a splash of olive juice, extra dirty, which means a heavier hand on the olive juice, and filthy, which means a super heavy pour of olive juice in their martini. Do they want it shaken or stirred? So here's the thing. James Bond is the reason why most people assume that martinis are supposed to be shaken, but traditionally, martinis are actually stirred. Both shaken and stirred martinis are diluted with water, but the main difference between the techniques is how the texture of the cocktail will come out. The texture of a shaken cocktail will be more aerated, and the texture of a stirred cocktail will come out more silky smooth. And another reason why gin martinis are usually stirred is because the botanicals are kind of like sadness from inside out. They're sensitive and don't want to be shaken around. Otherwise, they'll be easily bruised and can't live up to their full potential in a cocktail. And if you're a person who enjoys the nuances of flavors in gin, then a shaken cocktail might actually ruin the experience. On the other hand, what I've noticed with vodka martini people is that vodka martini people usually want their martini shaken. So it's always good to ask, and if the customer doesn't have a preference, then my personal rule of thumb is if it's gin, stir it. If it's vodka, shake it. Do they want a lemon or an olive garnish? There can be a ton of different ways to garnish a martini. The two most popular garnishes for a martini are gonna be a lemon express or lemon twist and an olive. When it comes to olives, typically you use green olives, but especially if you work in a craft cocktail bar, it's very common to see blue cheese stuffed olives. 
and people will ask for them too. <laughs> Even though it's most popularized in TV and movies that olives are the garnish for a martini, there are people like myself that don't like olives. So in that case, a lemon twist would be a better option. <laughs> when I personally make martinis, if the martini is leaning closer to a dirty martini or more savory martini, then I'll garnish it with an olive. And if it leans towards the citrusy side, then I'll use a lemon or some kind of citrus garnish. If you want to read about the top five martini garnishes that every bartender should know, then check out my blog post talking about it on flygirlbartini.com. I will insert a link in the description as well. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to stick around for part two when I actually show you guys the techniques on how to make several different variations of a classic martini. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Stay fly.